Dzień dobry, nazywam się Mark Brzeziński. Bardzo się cieszę, że jestem nowym ambasadorem Stanów Zjednoczonych w Polsce. To dla mnie, Amerykanina polskiego pochodzenia, spełnienie marzeń i wielki zaszczyt. My journey here brings full circle the path followed by my grandfather, Tadeusz Brzeziński, a Polish diplomat from Przemysz, now located on the border of Poland and Ukraine. By luck, my grandfather was assigned to be Consul General in Montreal just before Nazi Germany invaded Poland in 1939. He and my father, Zbigniew Brzezinski, survived the war and set about building new lives in Canada and the United States. My father did not speak fluent English until he was 15 years old. He had polio when he was young and wore wooden crutches. He studied hard, was admitted to Harvard, and arrived there with $200 in his pocket and one pair of socks. He won a scholarship, finished a PhD, and became an associate professor of government. By the time I was a kid, Dad was a leading foreign policy thinker and served as President Carter's national security advisor. For a Polish immigrant to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Soviets at the height of the Cold War, that's something that only happens in America. My mother, the sculptor Emily Benish, is a refugee and daughter of diplomats from the former Czechoslovakia. Bamba, as we lovingly call her, studied at Wellesley College in Massachusetts, where she and my father met at a school dance. They fell in love and had three children, my brother Ian, my sister Mika, and me. We grew up in New Jersey and Virginia with trips every summer to Maine to camp and fish, establishing my love for the outdoors. I look forward to visiting Poland's many natural wonders during my time with you. I graduated from Dartmouth, the University of Virginia and Oxford. I first came to Warsaw in 1991 on a Fulbright scholarship to research the Constitutional Tribunal. I wrote a book on Poland's developing constitutional and rule of law institutions after the collapse of communism. I saw the dramatic transformation of Poland and its capital city during my two years living here. Even more has changed since then. It's an honor to be back in Warsaw. After practicing as a lawyer, I joined the government first in the White House on the National Security Council and then as the U.S. Ambassador to Sweden. I know the United States and Poland share an ironclad commitment to security cooperation, benefit from robust economic ties, and embrace a historic friendship between our peoples. But I also know we must also agree to work together to ensure our shared future and the endurance of democratic principles in both countries. As ambassador, I look forward to deepening the cooperation between our two countries and strengthening the ties between the Polish and the American people. Thank you. Do zobaczenia.